Peace, everybody. It's Moon Cradles Ty, aka Mika of Homestead Moon. And today I put together this cheap candle from my Ollie's Spaghetti container and a dollar store cotton washcloth strip. Show you how I did it in a sec. So I filmed a previous video where I bought a bunch of cloths to use for hygiene purposes and I cut out um, on some of them all cotton. I cut out some strips so that I could make um, a candle, an emergency candle. And here I've used some old cooking oil and I'm putting in some lemongrass. This is the top. I punched a hole through there with a knife, but you could, you know, use a drill. That would be nicer. I've seen models where they've used flange pieces of copper. You can get the appropriate size gauge if you want to make a lantern style with just a little bit of oil and keep the wick up off this uh, top so you get more light that way. Or the easy way I'm doing it, which is I'm going to submerge this wick. There we go. And then screw the tap on, but I already added a few drops, but I'm gonna add just a few more of the essential oil. Here goes something. I like a lot of scent, so there. Then you wanna give that time to kind of wick up to the top, or you could take a little bit of the oil and just kind of uh, saturate it yourself if you want. But you can just be patient usually and it'll go on and it'll wake up. But I have seen people that will kind of get it started. So, see it's already beginning to, and I'm just gonna push that down. And this is just what I'm doing for me and my family. You um, can do your own research as how you want to do yours. Always exercise caution when you're um, working with anything with fire that's flammable. And that's it, folks. A quick emergency candle from an old Aldi's spaghetti jar. Um, that my family had and a piece of cotton washcloth strip as the cotton wick. And you can always keep another one of these pasta tops or you can use a top from another can that you've uh, opened with a can opener or something if you want to quickly extinguish it. But there you have it. See, it's burning just fine. And don't be alarmed if at the beginning, you don't want to have too much wick up, but don't be alarmed if you do get a higher flame right at the beginning, at the outset, like I did. But as the flame began to go down, about 30 seconds, it'll, it'll level out to this. So it is light in here right now. Let me turn off the light here. It is um, about 5 p.m., 5.02 p.m., in the afternoon here today, uh, Friday, March 29th. So, yep. I have my little plants grow light over there, but I can practice over here. I have a space that is a little bit darker. And see, I'm not getting all of that smoke that I did right in the first 30 seconds. Now it's just burning nicely. So have a few of these already set up in advance, um, ready to go, or you can just uh, have a regular lid screwed on with this one set aside, however you want to do it. This is just one way. There are many other ways. And here are some of the other uh, wicks, little strips that I cut to be wicks that I'm going to put in jars set aside without the oil just to have prepared and these are going to be for my char cloth. I will have char cloth to be set aside for uh, my little 
fire starting kit. So, but hey, still nice. Smells pretty. And you can always add a um, a little. You can take some wire and you can make a little handle for carrying it around. But in a pinch, you can carry it where you need it. Place it. Have this. This will burn for a very long time. And so this is just some off-grid emergency um, things that you can even, you know, have it set up in advance. And uh, if you end up needing it, a storm or anything that where you need light um, because you don't have another source or you just want to use some off-grid source, then you can consider this.